When you look at anesthesia, it's usually broken into two main categories. One of those categories is local anesthesia, and the other one is general anesthesia. So local anesthetics work by binding the nerves out in the peripheral nervous system. So out here, everything that I feel comes from having little nerve endings. So I know that my finger has a nerve that runs down one side and it runs down the other side. And if I block the nerve here and I block the nerve here, then I know that I won't be able to feel the tip of my finger because there's an interference at the nerves that then travel up my arm to my spinal cord and to my brain. The other type of anesthesia, and this is the one I think that most people think of when they're having surgery, some type of big procedure, is general anesthesia. And general anesthesia usually means that there's a loss of consciousness. So the brain stops understanding what's going on around it. And really what it does is it depresses the neuron systems from being able to generate impulses, electrical impulses, and communicate with one another. So in terms of patient safety, we really have come a tremendous way. But in terms of new anesthetics and new ways to alleviate pain, we have light years to go. I think there's lots more interesting things that we can find out as we better understand how pain itself is generated.